This is the Philippines. If you do not know anything about Philippines, just think of nurses, this boxer, and this fast food chain. The Philippines is an oddball in Southeast Asia, an Austronesian dude with a Spanish name, speaks a weird mix of Tagalog and English, bipolar, at times looks kinda East Asian, loves playing basketball, takes typhoon like nobody's business. You might be wondering, how on earth did this oddball come about? Well, it all began with some Austronesians coming to the Philippines from Taiwan, joining the old guards who were already in the Philippines. Being located on the islands surrounded by the sea, the people in the Philippines were naturally inclined towards maritime trading, with trade links to Vietnam, India, Japan, China, and many more. All these maritime trade network made the Philippines a mixing pot of culture and people. A number of maritime societies existed in the Philippines, including Tagalog states, Indianized states, Islamized sultanates, Chinese and Japanese settlements. Some Chinese dudes who traveled to the Philippines, feeling absolutely very lonely in the Philippines, began marrying local Philippines girls, producing Chinese mestizos. Then, some Spanish dudes came along, and decided to name the land after their king, King Philip II of Spain. The Spanish dudes stayed for more than three centuries. During this Spanish Philippines period, Catholic Jesus was introduced, and there was widespread adoption of Spanish names amongst the local Philippines population, to fit into the colonial society. The Spanish period of the Philippines made the Philippines a trading hub to Mexico, importing lots of influences from New Spain like Spanish cultures and food. Spanish and Latinos people came pouring in, more racial mix and match happened, producing even more beautiful people. It was during this period that there were conflicts with other European colonial big bullies like Portugal, Netherlands, Britain, and Asian bullies like Japan, China, Brunei, the Sulu Sultanate, plus countless pirates from everywhere. The Sulu Sultanate, a Muslim power in the south, controlled chunks of Borneo Island at its peak. The Sulu Sultanate managed to resist the Catholic Spanish Philippines to the north for centuries, before finally being annexed. This is where the current North Borneo land dispute between the Philippines and Malaysia originates from. The Philippines think that since Sulu Sultanate was part of the Philippines, and Sulu Sultanate used to control North Borneo which was leased to Britain, the Philippines should take back the control North Borneo. Malaysia, who currently controls North Borneo, thinks that the Philippines claim is complete bonkers, as the Sulu Sultanate has already ceded North Borneo to the Brits, who eventually gave self-governance to North Borneo, who then later formed Malaysia. The fight continues, and nobody cares what North Borneo thinks. Anyway, back to Spanish colonial Philippines. The Philippines was directly ruled from Mexico, up until when Mexico gained independence from Spain. Then, the Philippines was ruled directly from Spain. Spain invested heavily in education and infrastructure. The Philippines experienced economic boom, having one of the best living standards in Asia, and better than some European countries. In the late 19th century, as Spain got weaker, the Philippines fought for independence, and established the first Philippine Republic. Tough luck for the first Republic of Philippines, the Americans came along, beat the crap out of Spain, and took control over the Philippines. So how was life like in the American Philippines? Well, quite good, with increased trade and health care. The Philippines have always wanted to be independent, and the Commonwealth of the Philippines was formed. The Philippines was what Puerto Rico is today, before it was cool. All things were going well for the Commonwealth of the Philippines towards the goal of independence, until World War II came along. Well tough luck for the Philippines again, the Japanese expanded across Southeast Asia, eating up the Philippines along the way. The Americans retreated, and the Philippines fought back the Japanese via guerrilla war. Then, the Americans came back, beat up some communists, and finally the Philippines became independent. Lots of leaders came and gone, including this Marcos, and then this Tudert, and here we are today. Today, the Philippines is growing from strength to strength, 
despite the corruptions and shady stuff. If the control of Spain is weak in the Philippines, waves of large-scale Chinese immigration may occur in Luzon. We might see a Sinitic state in the Philippines, with local Austronesian natives, just like Taiwan today. Conversely, if there are no large-scale Chinese immigration to Taiwan, and if Dutch and Spain manage to hold on to Taiwan, Taiwan might be included as a part of Southeast Asia today, with a dominant Austronesian society. So what is the identity of the Philippines? Well, it really depends who you ask, as the identity of the Philippines is shaped by its unique geography and history, creating a diverse community. Within the Philippines, Luzon is seen as snob. Mindanao is seen as crazy. Meanwhile Visayas is just seating there eating popcorns. But all Filipinos love singing karaoke, and at one point in their lives considered becoming a nurse. Thanks for watching.